and we are back pokemon white 2 this time around let's dive right in and check out our team we have for our first encounters we have mareep at rat oshawa and padove so we went with the samurott line this time for our starters i'm really excited about it absolutely love samurott and we did showcase pig knight twice so i'm very excited for a change there and I just like the the style and composition of this uh, four four man squad right now, and I'm really digging it. And our main goal is to beat Charon here, the first gym leader, without losing anybody. If we can do that, I think we'll be looking really good moving forward. So this is Charon, our rival from the first uh, first set of games, black and white, the originals. So they have brought him back, and now he is the first gym leader you face in the sequels, black and white two. So very exciting stuff there, and um, he does have two normal types to start this game off. So we don't have any super effective fighting type moves against him, so we're just going to have to fight him head on. And we are running the Electric Sheep here, and um, because of Aurora's passive, when Patrat makes physical contact, he may get paralysis, so we're not even going to bother with the Thunder Wave. So we are just going to start spamming some Thunder Shocks here. And see how much damage we can get down that looks like almost a third there potentially three thunder shocks to do the trick if we can play around the potion here a workup does come down now pat rat will be hitting a little bit harder but if we can get in and get out and we lose the speed battle there but static does come down it does connect there so we take 13 damage but we are now faster and a critical hit comes down to respond to Pat Rat's damage. We have cleared the first Pokemon. Really good stuff there. The Electric Sheep is coming out to play. And now Charon throws out his best Pokemon, which is this adorable Lily Pup. And we are going to run the same tactic here. Going to get a Thundershock coming down. Tackle does connect for a whopping 13 as well. We get the static, though. Um, this Sheep is absolutely popping off. And we are in crit range, just barely, it looks like. So because we have three other Pokemon to swap to, the paralysis has already kicked in. We don't need to risk the life of this cute and cuddly little sheep. So we can either swap to any of these three, really. And um, let's go ahead and use our starter. And if something goes wrong there, we can always pivot back to the other two. That is the benefit of having more Pokemon on one's team. So workup comes down, Lilypup trying to compensate, get some more damage under its belt here. But let's see what Oshawa has to say about that. I do believe Oshawott's um, special attack is a little bit higher than physical. We also get the same type bonus with the water gun. So we're going to use that. Sunset comes down, shoots the water gun, gets a little bit of damage down there. Now I am nervous that um, we are going to pop into potion range. But I don't really see an option other than Tail Whip, then Tackle. And I, at that point, we might as well do two Water Guns and hope for a crit. So we are going in with another Water Gun. Oshawa from downtown gets into the red. We're going to eat a really big Tackle, and that was not a critical hit. That was not a critical hit. So we are hoping that Charon only has one Potion, and we are going to go for the Water Gun for the finish here. He does not. He has another Potion. Unless I miscounted and that was the only potion. And that is our water gun. And because I am absolutely terrified of losing my starter right off the bat, we are going to go ahead and swap into Clover the Padove just to play around that massive damage that Lily Pup can do. Hopefully Paralysis can kick in here. And it does, giving us a clean swap into our little birdie here. Quick Attack is going to come down, probably do half that health bar, hopefully. And potentially, if we can finish the job right here, we can make it out with everyone alive. But Lilypup is now functioning at a three workup bonus here. And this quick attack really, really, really needs to finish off this cute and cuddly little puppy. Or we may potentially lose the bird. And it does. And that will conclude the first gym battle in white too. Ridiculous stuff there. I didn't think two normal types would bring so much excitement, but that was pretty darn enjoyable. I'm really, really enjoying this game so far, and I'm very excited to go check out the second gym. I do believe it was poison type when I did a little sneak peek earlier. So really good stuff. Um, I hope all of you are doing well. As always, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you on the flip. Peace.